I guess in this video I am going to discuss what JavaScript variable. So what the variable? So variable are used to store the information. So and here we need to use var keyword after that give the name and here after store the information or any values. So and here I used var. So here you can see and here I used var and here given the name n1 and store the information or value 10. And here var. So name is n2 and here or uh, 20 and here I am doing some kind of calculation by using variable and here the name is sum and here it is doing mathematical addition and here that value is stored to some variable. So there is uh, some point at here variable or uh, we cannot uh, declare with var and here in variable var minus sorry underscore str we can use this and here with variable we cannot use uh, uh, we cannot give the name and here any integer or we cannot write dot star with the variable name so and here or uh, here this the code javascript or uh, coding that comes under a script tag so and here i have taken var tag variable okay var and here n1 is the name and store the information with 10 and here variable var and here and the name is n2 and store the value 20. Next variable is sum and here doing the calculation n1 plus n2 and here printing the variable values. So if I execute all this code, so and here this is going to do the calculation on variable. So 10 plus 20, the value come and here or 30. So here it's a displaying sum of number equal to 30. Okay. So there is a some point about the variable. So let's give add here a star at this point. So giving a star at here. So when I given the star, the name of variable here, some kind of uh, red signal. So at here, it's uh, giving the masses extracting new line or semicolon. That means the uh, variable name cannot include with a star or any special symbol so let's give out here has so again the same problem okay so variable we cannot use add here a star now here after if i give the variable name a uh, 98 so this is add here integer so 981 is the integer so we cannot give the variable name add here any uh, any numeric values okay so here again the same problem expecting new line or semicolon so like this we cannot include at here care also so the same problem so this is some rule about the variable we cannot give both or we cannot include inside so in double quote single quote point and any number we cannot give the variable name now you simply give at here p then it's a fine now here after let's use at here underscore so underscore there is no any problem now we cannot give the variable name with var okay the so same problem here expecting new line so this is the sum rule about the variable so variable is used to store the value so at here i have stored the value the name is n1 so n1 so it takes or uh, somewhere in memory a store or 10 n2 store after that we are doing the calculation on variable so at your sum n1 plus n2 it's a returning 10 plus 20 10 plus 20 that is 30. now there are two types of variable first is at your global variable so at your javascript global variable so it is declared outside the function okay or declared within with or within window object and here it can be accessed from any function so at here this is the global variable so outside the function and this variable we can use inside any function not to only sum we can use inside print also so at here a variable add here initialize with 10 and here add equal to add plus 10 so 10 plus 15 the value comes 25 now here after a function add equal to 19 so new value of add is now 19 that display so here that means this uh, global variable i am using 
inside of some function and here print function and here calling the function so let's execute this code and check the output so at here 19 it's a display so suppose and here at this point if i don't give here so at here add equal to 10 and here add equal to add plus so 10 plus 15 now here let's execute so this time it's a display 25 now here after this is the variable uh, suppose if I do not did not initialize the variable okay so there is no any problems if you want then you can initialize if you don't want it's okay but name must be there so if I don't give name so there it generates the error so uh, it's all depend upon you if you want to give the values initialize the variable values so it's fine or if don't then it's also fine now here after let's see about the local variable so local variable that works inside the function so and here i'm using the function also and here var a so this is the hello world that initialize so first i'm going to make that comment of this one and here on comment okay so here alert a so here if i execute in the value that display hello world so hello world it's a display there is no any problem now here after i'm going to make that comment and here oh uh, this variable a that i'm going to use outside now here after if i take the cursor a so there is a, some uh, message it's a display so unresolved variable or type a so it's a generating the message because where a is the local variable and a that i'm using outside the function so a local variable scope comes inside the function only okay so if i execute so it will not to generate alert box here so this is about to add a local variable so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you